I love water holes and what's great about a water hole is you can create a high attraction spot to set up a bow stand and the deer only come in they're there for one or two minutes it creates a high quality hot spot of deer movement that even a wandering mature buck will be drawn to they increase the pellet count urine scent rub scrapes in the area and so even a buck that has only been on the property one time doesn't even know the water holes there is going to be drawn to that just because of the activity and sign and scent that will be associated with that water hole. Now that being said, a water hole does not need to be a quarter acre or a half acre or an acre pond. Now if you love fishing, you love uh, having the water fall in, you want to create a swimming hole, those are all awesome. I'd love to have that too. But when it comes to deer hunting and whitetail hunting, a single water hole this size is in the case of a 70 gallon tank or 60 gallon tank or a 100 gallon tank or 200 gallon tank is all that you need, literally all that you need. This water hole, you can see how tracked up it is. There's a rub behind me and uh, there's scrapes around this area. There's rubs over here. This is a high activity location, obviously with the tracks, but at the same time, very, very small location. So a very specific location. We want deer to travel to here. The worst thing that you could do is put this water hole away from a tree stand and you're drawing, then you'll just draw deer away from your stand location. So you really want to be within a bow shot. And two, one of the big myths out there is that uh, you don't need this to be an acre in size, uh, you know, half acre in size or a quarter acre. In fact, what we use and what I encourage my clients to use is between a 100 and 200 gallon tank. You want it a location that's easy to fill, that you can back up to, shoot some water into it out of a tank, uh, a couple jugs of water, um, something off the back of an ATV or UTV or even your pickup truck, and uh, you can keep it filled, easy to fill and uh, we found that it becomes one of the most attractive locations in the woods. Now, something else I should mention really quick is the same in travel corridors and scrapes, even mineral stations if you have them out. Um, the power of one is great, the power of 50 is diluted by the number that you have out there. So we want to have on a 40 acre parcel, you shouldn't have more than two to three typically. On an 80 acre parcel that translates into roughly five to six at the most. I would probably say more like four to five on 80 acres. Um, 200 acre parsley might be able to get away with six or seven if you don't have any other water sources in the area and you have a lot of cover and habitat. So again, getting back doesn't need to be much bigger than this. And it's amazing the level of attraction and power that just this little water hole has to influence a deer movement on your property. If you add this water hole and the movements you're already trying to create with the travel corridors, bedding areas, food sources, then uh, you can expect great things when it comes to uh, the hunting mature bucks and especially when it comes to the rut and you're looking for those wandering thirsty cruisers.